and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be adding a second drive to a mid-2012 13-inch MacBook Pro using the OWC Data Doubler. We've gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 Phillips screws. The three in the upper right are longer than the others, so remove those first. You can now remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. Once the screws are removed, you can lift the bottom off. For best performance, we've already installed an OWC 6G SSD in the main drive bay. We're going to install the original platter-based drive in the data doubler, which will go in the optical bay here. First though, we need to disconnect the battery connector, which is located here. Use a nylon pry tool to gently lift the connector free from the logic board. Once it's disconnected, we can then safely remove the optical drive. Using your nylon pry tool, detach these three data cables. The first Phillips screw we need to remove is located here, underneath these wires. To get at the second screw, we need to first loosen this module by removing these three screws. The one on the right is shorter than the other two, so remove that one first. Once you've removed all three screws, gently pull the module up and back to reveal the second optical drive screw, which can then be removed. Finally, remove the last optical drive screw, which is located here, along the outside edge of the MacBook Pro. Gently move this cable back, then lift the optical drive out of the bay using your nylon pry tool if necessary. Be careful not to snag on any cables while pulling the drive out. You need to remove the SATA connector and the mounting bracket from the optical drive so that we can use them on the data doubler. You can first remove the SATA connector by simply pulling it off. Then, remove the two Phillips screws holding this mounting bracket into place. You can now set the original optical drive aside. There are two bags of screws that come with the data doubler. In the first bag, there are five screws. We'll need the two thick ones. The others you can just set aside. Take your drive and line up its SATA connector with the one on the data doubler and slide the two together. Secure the drive to the data doubler at these two points using the two thicker screws that we just separated out. Next, line up the SATA connector on the data doubler with the connector on the cable and slide them together. Attach the mounting bracket to these two holes using the Phillips screws that held it to the original drive. The data doubler is now ready to install. Carefully slide the data doubler into place, making sure no cables or tabs get pinched underneath. Use the original Phillips screw to reattach the rear bracket. To secure the front, we'll need the two longer screws in the OWC marked bag that came with the data doubler. First, pull back the module and attach the corner using one of the two screws from the bag. Use the other screw from the bag to secure the last point here. 
Once that's done, secure the module back into place. The two longer screws go in the left two holes, while the smaller screw goes on the right. Use your nylon pry tool to help position these wires back along the edge of the data doubler and into the retaining channels. Finally, reattach the three data cables by lining them up with their connectors and gently pushing them into place. You can now reattach the battery and replace the bottom cover. We can now reinsert the bottom screws, starting with the longer three in the upper right corner. Then, replace the remaining seven screws. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.